A lot like virginity, a body count is an arbitrary metric used to define a person's sexual experiences in a rudimentary way. It simply refers to how many people someone's had sex with. In fact, it's really designed to shame the sexually active, and there's no normal number. Here's why. A 2020 study in the Journal of the American Medical Association took a look at rates of sexual activity among men and women aged 25 to 34 from 2000 to 2018. It found that sexual activity actually decreased for both in that time. There are, of course, several reasons this could be, ranging from concerns about the future of access to reproductive health care to lingering effects of the pandemic and its lockdowns. In spite of what you might see on Twitter or Reddit, there is no acceptable number of lifetime sexual partners. Still, there is enough curiosity about how many people we're all sleeping with that the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has even waded into the discourse. The CDC's latest data says that here in America, the median number for women is 4.3, and for men, it's 6.3. While it's clear from this data that men tend to have higher counts than women, it's women who are routinely shamed for this arbitrary number. The cultural pearl clutching around women's body counts in particular is part of the same misguided nonsense as concerns that sex changes a woman's body or otherwise alters her. When discussing sexual activity, the most important thing to consider is safety. Get tested regularly and be open and honest with your partner about your expectations for condom use and their health history. You shouldn't lie about your body count, and if you're in a situation where you feel like you have to in order to keep being respected by your partner, that may speak volumes about your relationship. Be sure to drop a comment below with any questions you'd like us to answer in a future video, and stay tuned to Lifehacker for more tips and tricks on how to do everything better.